You're going live, brother. Stand by. All right. Peace and black power. Peace and black power, family. I hope life is going well with you all. It's a grand evening as it was a grand rising. Of course, I'm Elijah Divine. We're all divine by design. I'm the National Youth Minister of the New Black Panther Party, honored by my brother Mentu, as well as Attorney Malik Shabazz, Attorney General, that is. Right now, we're going live just so we can get ourselves situated with understanding what the Liberation School is really about, getting people more fluent with how learning and education should go. But I want to set the tone and I want to set the bar before we get too far into things, okay? We're going to start talking off with the 10-point plan, and I'm talking about the original 10-point plan. We're going to bring it forth into this conversation. I'm going to read it front to back, and I'm going to read it twice for you all so we can set the hearts and minds and set the tone. You hear the train coming through because we have a storm and a train coming in, and we're bringing that Black power. We're bringing that Black power. we bring that Black power. So I'm going to just go ahead and start it off with the original 10 point plan because this original plan is the reason why we even exist today and the reason why we want to carry this energy into 2022 and 2023. The first start of the 10 point plan was originally talking about how we want freedom. We're demanding freedom. We want power to determine the destiny of our black community. We want the freedom and the power to determine the destiny of our community. Meaning we don't want anyone else to determine how our community flows except for us, for us and by us. That's FUBU. Well, we want the same thing. Number two of the 10-point plan, we want full employment for our people. Now, I'm going to add to that later. I'm going to come back to it and circle around. But we want full employment of our people. Number three, we want to end to the robbery by the white man of our black community. I'm going to add to that too, again, but it stands on its own right now because it's a very powerful indoctrination that we must bring back and talk about again. We want to end to the robbery by the white man of our black community. That's number three of the 10 point plan. Number four, we want decent housing fit for shelter of human beings. Not asking for too much, they're asking for decent. We want decent housing. Let's refresh your memory about what we're asking for. These are things for human beings, basic necessities for life. Number five, we want education for our people that exposes the true nature of this descendant American society, descendant. We want education that teaches us our true history and our role in the present day society. So what does that mean? We're not trying to whitewash the history. What does that mean? Critical race theory needs to be a subject in our schools. What does that mean? Our people need to know where they come from. Don't sugarcoat anything. Tell us like it is. Number six, we want all Black men to be exempt from military service. A brother by the name of Muhammad Ali was one of the main people fighting on this at a certain amount in history when he showed that I want to be exempt from fighting the wars that are not about me and are not about my people, that don't represent me, going off to go fight wars in other countries and nations against people you never had problems with. Number seven, we want an immediate end to police brutality and murder of Black people. I'm going to revisit that again, but we want an immediate in to police brutality and murder of black people. It's not just saying black men, it's not just saying black women, it's not just saying black children, it's saying black people as a whole. We're gonna come back to that again shortly. Number eight, we want freedom for all black men held in federal, state, county, and city prisons and jails. Yes, you, you heard me, I said freedom, liberation. We want our people to be free. I'm going to circle back around that too. And we're going to talk about why we still want that today. Number nine, we want all black people when brought to child to be tried in court by a jury of their peer group. Let me, let me start that over again, because it's a little bit lengthy, but you're going to understand exactly why I'm saying this and why I'm reiterating it just in case people have not heard it before or need to hear it again, a refresher from a new generation. I got my brother Nehemiah here, and he's going to go in shortly too. Black power guy. Number nine is we want all black people when brought to trial to be tried in court by a jury of their peer group or people from their black communities as defined by the Constitution of the United States. 
Meaning the constitution has said that you're supposed to be tried by people of your peers, by a jury of your peers. But far too often we see the people are being mistreated, mishandled, and trumped up on charges that are not really adequately explaining what they went through because people are coming and judging them from places that are not their community. They lack the understanding, but we're going to circle back around that. I'm just getting warmed up. We're just getting it started. Number 10, which is not the most important. All of these things are equally important, but I need you to understand what number 10 is really saying, because this is going to kick off our night and our conversation about where the youth is going in the future, about where our people are going and why we must go back into the past in order to go forward, why we must address some things in order to go forward. Number 10, we want land, bread, housing, education, clothing, justice, and peace, not or, and peace. And as our major political objective, a United Nations supervised plebiscite to be held through the black colony in which only black colonial subjects will be allowed to participate for the purpose of determining the will of black people as to their national destiny. Far too long, we have been trained, desensitized to not acknowledge our own value and our own power, our own merit. As the black community, we are worth over $3 trillion. We circulate the dollar all the time. You heard this. I'm not going to tell you the same side story, the same tired story. We're going to be solution oriented tonight. I'm going to read back over the plan again, not at this exact moment, but we will be talking about it throughout the night. We will get things going. I want my brother Nehemiah to introduce himself before I get too going because he knows how I can get. I'm going to let my brother speak first and then we're going to get it going. We'll be right back. Let, go ahead, Nehemiah. Let them know what's, what we got going on, my brother. Test your microphone. Test your microphone. Can you hear me? Black Power. I'm Brother Nehemiah X of the New Black Panther Party. I'm the Deputy Youth Minister. Here's my brother Elijah Divine, National Youth Minister for the New Black Panther Party. When it comes to the youth of what we stand on and what we stand on inside of the party, because we are the youth, we speak for the youth, we are the youth, we come from uh, that group, that's our peer group, black youth. What we're looking at today is a state of psychosis amongst the black race. And as black youth, we must do what we must do inside of society. Our elders, we are the ones who are, uh, are they have built the foundation for us, an uncompromising foundation. And as we build on this foundation, we take it. We get that fast leg in the race. With that as the baton is given, as we get in the race, we put our race on our back. We put our ethnic group on our back. We put our elders on our back. And we run the lap and we stay the course and we hold the line. We have seen the reason I say the state of the race under uh, psychosis is because we have seen to forgot where we are and where we are today and why we are where we are today and who we are today and who we were yesterday. As he just stood on the 10 point program in number 10, telling you how what we want is land. Many people seem to forget that it was land that our people wanted. They did not want to fit into a society that was already against them, for, uh, already emancipated from slavery. They knew what the time was. It seems that as now, that, uh, centuries later, we seem to forgot that it was not about playing the game. It was about breaking the game. When we stand on and say new Black Panther Party, it's not about playing the game. It's about breaking the game. It's about rebuilding. It's about breaking, destroying, so you can rebuild. The foundation that they're trying to give us today and discredit us and discredit our elders and discredit the movement and claim that we're illegitimate and claim that we have no purpose and claim that we are uh, 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 
uh, everyone is chasing, claim that we are uh, uh, trying to get people picked off by the system. These are the very same old claims of yesterday and the days before and the days before that one. We seem to forget where we are. We seem to forget that even if you were strong as Malcolm and strong as the nation, and even if you were seeming to be more passive to uh, the white establishment as Martin Luther King, you still got shot in the face. You still got shot in the chest. You still were uh, uh, investigated by those boys. You still were infiltrated. You still were scorned and rejected and refused. So let's go back and take it all the way back. Even in your Bible, most of you have read. And in the passage, it talks about a people, a stiff-necked people, a, a people who have killed all of their prophets, all the way from Abel, all the way to Zechariah. Here it is today as we live in a time where our metropolis is ruined. That's right. I'm not a I'm, I'm not one who's trying to claim a place that I didn't come from. I'm telling you that my people are displaced. I'm telling you that my people are looked as the bottom rail. I'm telling you that my people are being pipped by society. When you listen to the 10 point program, we're telling you these 10 points to show you that in these 10 points, this is what we don't have. And if you get down the line and name 10 things of what you don't have as a collective race. Well, shit, sounds like a trap to me. Sounds like a trap not having a land of your own. It sounds like a trap begging from the white man about tangibles and reparations and singing songs of don't trust those new niggas over there. Don't let those immigrants in. That's what we call them. But we didn't choose to be hit. Malcolm X told us in the days ago that we are not American. If you're claiming years, 200 years, way before the establishment of the United States that only had 13 colonies of 1776, but your people were held and captive by Spaniards and Portuguese, and your people have been here before there was a 1776, then how can your foundation be in America? We have shared nothing. We have gained nothing from the white men. When we say black power, that's what we need inside of a society. Your demographic, does your demographic percentage, does it reflect your area uh, 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 in your city today? If you're 50, 60%, does your demographic and economics, does it reflect that in your city? Does it reflect that in your society? Does it reflect that in your economics? Does it reflect that in your educational system? What is our rate of success as we have gone and laid bondage and been pipped and been holed and been tricked by white supremacy? These ten points are key to us getting out of uh, uh, getting out of the coercion of white supremacy, getting out of the mental imprisonment of white supremacy. When we say revolutionary. The strongest thing about a revolutionary is not the gun. The strongest thing that we are taught, that we are taught by Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad when he said he was spitting ballistics, he didn't shoot at the crowd with a gun. He didn't shoot at them with a pistol. The ballistics that he had was the bullet from the mouth of the sword from the mouth. That's what he was fighting with. And the brain, that's the that's the power source. The soul, that's the power source. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's the power source. Whether you say Nayame, whether you say Allah do my my way, that which is so hard to understand, that which that you is is with this tongue that we speak, this strange tongue, we can't speak it. So we have those words to go and what we say is the Almighty or uh, Aladdin. Words that we use, and you say, well, where are you going at when you talk about God and I struggle? Where is God and I struggle? What do you understand about this God? Or what do you call God? Or what? Why are you adding this in? It's all about politics. Why are you saying God? But we say that what is in us is God. Come on, we have to activate that. That which we are, uh, that which we have, uh, Obtain interest to even be conscious, to even move, to even walk, to even breathe, to even understand what we're going through in society. When your Christian Bible, it says, you are all God's children of the Most High. So we must be about our Father's business. So while I speak, I also must ask forgiveness uh, from uh, the chairman. I also must speak uh, and go on. Uh, before I spoke, I was supposed to stand on. That foundation, uh, today is Monday, the day of Ashur. You cannot enter in to any gates without standing on and mentioning that foundation. I apologize and I ask for forgiveness. Black power. 
I stand on the uncompromising legacy of Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad. When we look at the new Black Panther Party today, it would not be here today if it wasn't for a man globalizing and mainlining through music, uh, through, through our culture. Not just through music and our culture, but also through liberation theology. He rose us up and he gave us something and he gave us other people that he raised up to lead the way and hold the line. I stand on an uncompromising uh, legacy of Attorney General, Chairman Malik. If it wasn't for him, we would not have a legacy to still say New Black Panther Party after the untimely passing of Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad. Also on that legacy, I stand on the legacy of the Nation of Islam. Without these teachings of the Nation of Islam, we wouldn't have a Malcolm X. We wouldn't have the revolutionary black nationalism as what it is today. We wouldn't have uh, Kwame Ture's uh, Pan-Africanism or what we say, Sekou Tureism. Uh, so I stand on that uh, foundation as well of Kwame Nkrumah, of Sekou Ture. I stand on that uh, uncompromising philosophy of Makasa Dada and uh, Ella Baker and Queen Mother Moore, Harriet Tubman and Sojourner Truth. And these names I stand on. Without them, I wouldn't be speaking of what I'm speaking on to today. Uh, I greet you all in the words of Black Power. I greet you all with what's up. I greet you all with assalamu alaikum. Uh, and that means, you know, peace be upon you to those who do not know that Arabic greeting. Um, and also, I greet you with the words of Fabari Ghani. What's the news? And the news is black power. Resuming back to it, and I'm closing. Uh, I didn't mean to overstep again. Uh, getting back to God. It is with that legacy, it is with that that we have seen one always being raised up in the midst of dissatisfaction. In a time, uh, in a time where people need to be led towards the uh, straight way and not led toward the deviant way or the wrong way or the straight path, as we see, there's a straight path now, and in our society, enemies, devilishment, cause confusion to strike that straight path and strike it in the midst of seven paths and strike down the rest of our nine areas of operation inside of our society. Today we have been taken into bondage and what they have taken from us is our economics. They have taken us away from the resources of Africa. So when you disconnect and you say pan-Africanism pan is dead, when you disrespect and you talk about, um, uh, and you talk about your other fellow uh, people inside of the diaspora, you now have took on the various traits that you have claimed them for and you yourself have now taken on the white supremacist mind state of us against them. What you saying? What does that have to do? How, what's the saying? Revolutionary black nationalism, pan Africanism. I'm, I'm in America. They in Africa, but when, and it's so good over here. Why they moving over here? Well, we looking at when you sit all over the world. When you go and you pimp all over the world, and everywhere that you make your outpost is desolate. Everywhere that you make your outpost is crumbled, it's desecrated. Those people that you have there, you have displaced, you have to do something with them. So they go to every other outpost that you have made. They go to the center outpost that you have made. Your, uh, they have made that their uh, great metropolis that they call America. So people are going to come to the land of Babylon or baby London. People are going to come to where they believe that all their dreams can be accomplished in this American dream that they can have. Martin Luther King, before he departed, said that this, uh, that this dream that he had seems to be a nightmare. Talk about it. it has been a nightmare. Look at what we went through. We talk about the crack epidemic, but let's talk about the ep epidemic of now. Let's talk about the uppers. Let's talk about the, diner, the downers. Let's talk about the mass drug use. What are we running from? Why are people getting loaded on that boy? And why are people getting hyped up and tooted up on, that, on that girl? You know, we talk about Hannah Montana, huh? And we, in our songs, rapping about these things. And these are things that we take on the characteristics of our oppressor by pimping out and slaving out our community by giving something that would destroy our people just so we can live on the hill. 
of riches and gold and then crash out in less than five years. This is what they have set up for us. This is what they have put in our society, destroying us with the mental coercion of white supremacy. This is what they have used with the mind manipulation to make us not want to have land of our own, make us not want to have society of our own, make us not want to have a job of our own. Many of you people listening today are far so high up the ladder inside of your jobs. Many of you. Many of you that are not organizing are so far up the ladder with your jobs. And you don't even see the purpose. You want to be a boss. You want to be the manager. But you don't see the purpose of even having a job of your own. Many of you have degrees and can start a job of your own. But your, but your uh, degree is not a motive to just a right to work. Your degree is just now a reference. The reason I say psychosis is because we are deny denying the very situation that we're in. Living with an oppressor that makes enemies all over the world and do us living behind enemy lines, we are associated with that enemy. And we too, unless we separate, can uh, 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 bear the same uh, chastisement of that enemy. Bear the same lashes of that enemy, from this enemy. How come we're behind enemy lines and we don't want to listen to world affairs or understand our place in the world? Or mark our place in the world? The 10-point program is a mark on that place in the world. When we look at RAM, the youth, RAM, college and high school, these students were the ones who led us to ideas of revolutionary black nationalism to organize and to use uh, their organizational skills to the community and teach us what socialism is. When you say black nationalism, you are saying you're a socialist. When you say black nationalism, you're saying that you want the pro proletariat, the blue collar workers, to play a part in society and benefit their fair share in society. When you say black power, you are saying that you want those who are under the suffering of an oppressor who has denied them and who has taken away. You want these people to have their own in the world, not just in a country, not just in a state, not just in a county, not just on one side of the continent. We're talking about all of us who are in that peer group. We want these and those and their generations to benefit and have a place in the world. To have a say of our affairs, self-determination. We are a people that are able. We are a people that are noble. We are a people that, through time and time again in history, we've seen that we overachieved. We've seen what we have given to society and have graced society with. We don't need a handler in society. We don't need to be uh, a, a stool pigeon and somebody be the manager to our affairs and someone be the accountant over our economics so when you're looking at 10 point program when you're looking at nine local objectives all of that are are, 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 are in that line when you look in the ISIS papers and look and understand that Cressus, uh, 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 Dr. Francis Cressus Wilson's theory and she tells you about those nine areas. Look at this devil's pitch for what he is torturing us when it comes to economics, what he's torturing us when it comes to politics, what he's torturing us when it comes to entertainment, what he's torturing us when it comes to culture in general. We give everything and give and get nothing. We get trinkets of people who get in places of, uh, of society and people who get in high areas and that's what we're supposed to be appeased with. That their win is a win for all, and that's all we're able to get. It's a psychosis. We look at the system, and we know the system is dirty, but yet we try to justify a system. We try to play into a system, give in to a system. Every man for himself, dog eat dog. But if one loses, we all lose. We all lose. The reason we all lose is because... In unity, we can achieve much. Only through unity, we must sheathe our swords when it comes to when it comes to violence amongst ourselves, and we must unsheathe when it comes to the struggle. We sheathe our swords in unity, and we unsheathe that sword when it comes to the struggle. 
that should not be in the time as this where all of our race is losing that we are downing each other in public, that we are making spectacles and that we are doxing other black men, that we are downgrading other black women, that we are downgrading and degrading our whole race in front of the world. That's why it's psychosis. We're lost in a state of exhaustion, lashing out amongst everything around us, even ourselves. Just as it says that we would, it was prophesied that there would be a rumor in the land causing brother to fight brother, Kush to fight Kush, Assyrian to fight Assyrian. And look at us roaming in the desert in the worst part, rolling around with our lords exposed. We have nothing. We asked out, fighting amongst each other. Just on the direction of where we should take to freedom, rather than organize each other, rather than organize with each other and unite. All right, there you are, brother, and unite on our commonalities. When we don't unite on the commonalities, we break up the uh, community. And as Jay Z said, no one wins when the family feuds. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Psychosis means that a person is in denial. Psychosis means that one is uh, uh, doing one thing but doesn't understand what he's doing because he himself is just not even in touch with reality anymore. Black power. Yep. Given to the illusion. Black power, brother. Black power. Apologies for the rambling. No, you're fine, brother. You're fine. Um, for one, we just want to give thanks to Yahweh, Elohim. Yes. Yahweh for giving us the ability to be alive, yes. for giving us breath. Um, as many of y'all may know, I just celebrated uh, my born day on Friday, meaning I just took my 26th turn around the sun. Yes. That's why I bear gold on my head because I know I'm a king and I cannot be stripped away of my pride and my honor. Therefore, I know my people will never be stripped away of their pride and their honor for the things that they allow the most high to put within them to say. Never, never apologize for being someone that is passionate about the work because many people lack passion and I'm not here to bash anyone, but sometimes we need to give ourselves our own thrashing of the medicine that we're always mm. trying to be critiquing of other people. Sometimes Thanks. we got to look and realize that the grass is not greener on the other side. It just means that that person decides to cut it and tend to it. Meaning That's if right. you always look at someone else's garden, you will never have your own garden. You will never have your own property. You will never be someone that is looked at more <laughs> than an onlooker. It's time for us to get off the couch, stop straddling the fence, stop always being quick to be offended and stop pretending like we aren't born to be who we're supposed to be. That's we right. Gotta act like this time to be righteous is now. So don't be asking me how, don't be asking me why, don't be saying anything that's gonna hype me up instead of looking at yourself in the mirror and saying you're capable of doing this too. I'm done trying to tell people, look, you can do this too. You can, it's time to show. We've been doing this for many years before me back to Bobby Seal, Huey P. They've been doing it long before any of us was born. Our ancestors brought life to us for a reason because we're not the norm. We've been talking about the storm, but we're trying to bring something greater than the world has ever seen. But the only way to do it is if we're on the same team. Don't act like you don't know what I mean because everybody always want to talk about chasing the cream, but they don't know what they've been milking. Bless. We got to stop trying to milk each other talking about you getting to the cream or you get into the bag, but you're still in the bag. We don't want the mm. bag anymore. We want the whole facility that's going to manufacture the bag. We want to be able to want to fund other people's bags. We tired of people walking around in rags, talking crazy, having their pants sag, mm. getting, getting twisted, getting lit on jet lag, but don't got nothing to their name. I'm not just here to talk about the new Black Panther Party or put any right. other organization to shame, but it's time for us to actually live up to our claim. Right. There's only one thing that we need to put down to the side and that is pride. 
there's one thing that we need to make sure that we always have something of, and that's called hope, because it's never enough. <clears throat> it's time for us to show and approve. Don't just talk tough. Yeah, we know your history. We know things have been rough. But guess what? Tell me. Life can end at any moment. It can be so abrupt. But what's going to happen when they talk about the history that changed what was corrupt? Mm. Will your name be written down in the book? Will they think about you living your purpose? Or will you act brand new like you was always malnourished? There was one quote that I want to say, and I'm going to move forward with what we have to say. And this is from Muhammad Ali. He said, he who is not courageous enough to take risk will accomplish nothing in life. <clears throat> you have to be willing to be risky, not frisky, but risky when it comes down to obtaining the life that you say that you want so bad. What sacrifices are you willing to make? Because we can always talk about there's one father in the home, <clears throat> but will you be a better father? We can always talk about, oh, this nigga ain't shit. But will you be a better example to your children and your family to mm. make sure that's not the same? Self-reparation. See, sometimes we got to look in the mirror and say we've done too much to talk bad about each other instead of checking ourselves. Yes. For the things that we have done to each other, done to ourselves. It, it starts inward. I don't care what label you are repping. Do you care enough about other people that are being human? Hmm. Do you actually care about other people being human? Because we can get up on these soapboxes and podiums. Trust me, it's a lot of fake people out here acting like they're leaders. But to lead means that you can follow. To, me, to lead means that you can sit yourself down and actually listen to the concerns of the people and have a reaction. But the reaction is a pro-reaction, almost like a procreation, like you're literally thinking of how to react in a way that's going to create a solution. Reactions are not always bad. We always be like, don't react. No, reaction is chemistry. Reaction is scientific. You are naturally going to react in everything that you do in your life. We are balls of energy, but we must hone it in sometimes. And I'm not talking to you, my brother. I'm talking to our nation. Right. Our nation has allowed ourselves to slip from our main primary focus. We're too busy looking at this group, looking at that group, looking at that group, talking bad about this group, talking bad. Oh, yeah, that person used to do this. Well, who are they today? Who right. Is the camera right. on you? Is the limelight on you? Come on now. Who, when have we become so elite that we don't even know the suffering of everyday people? Right. These 10 point plans was written back in 1967. Yeah. This ain't no new thing, but why does it seem like we got to keep doing it new? It's because mm. our hearts aren't in it like it used to be. We want to get so caught up about who's in this position, who's in this title. If God was to strip the title away from your name today, who will you be? Who would you be? Mm. We can go all day long about being a philosopher. I can spit the best things that can be said tonight. But what would that do? Hmm. It will be talking. It will be talking. Brother Malik has set forth some things that it's time for us to, to, uh, to go out and do the work on. And so improve. That's all we can do. Show and prove. Show and prove. Facts. Show and prove. Don't hit snooze. Show and prove. Don't hit snooze. Because guess what? Every time we hit snooze, we lose. Yes. We always fall asleep at the wheel. I'm to hold myself accountable. We always fall asleep at the wheel. We get so much charisma, but we get so much action going, then we become complacent and stagnant. Well, guess what? If you, me, and everybody else as a we understand that we no longer can be stagnant, we no longer will be looked at and deemed as a fragment. Right. And when I say fragment, I mean this, a speck. 
See, when we move as a unit, mm. as a family, I love the militia aspect, but what about the family aspect of us? Half of us don't even know each other's names. Mm. Half of us don't even know each other's birthdays. Half of us don't even know each other's favorite whatever pastime. Right. We love to go out there and do this, but when are we going to do this with each other? Right. And not in an inappropriate way, because those must be taken account for. But in the way of truly embracing your brother, embracing your sister, embracing your other, embracing what you say you truly love, your people. Right. That's right. We're going to revisit this 10-point plan like I said I was. But I'm going to add what it means in 2022 to us. That we love the original Panthers. That we have no shame in reading from the original documentation that exists. And also speaking on the things that we too have created. I don't care nobody's title. The Most High don't care about your title. What happened to I am because we are, we are because I am. Correct. We be saying that when it's convenient. But it gets real convenient when you're when you're screaming for help. Because you're being judged. In a, in a court and you're getting 17 to life. Now you're screaming for an attorney. Or when somebody knocking down your door because your neighbor has no food and now your neighbor wants to come get your food. Now you're screaming for protection. From someone that you thought was a brother. Because y'all never built that bond. Y'all waited too late. Right. Well, I'm going to say right now we're not going to wait too late. And we're also not going to hold you too long. I'm going to talk about the revamping. Because this, this the 10-point plan originally stands on its own merit. But things must also evolve. And I don't care whose ego or pride gets hurt. But we are going to evolve with or without you. The most high work has to be done. I'll take this shirt off and evolve with or without you because God put it into me. God put it right. into Nehemiah. God put it into attorney Malik Zulu Shabazz. God put it within you, whoever's on the other end of this uh, other end of this camera. Don't let the logo and the name fool you into thinking that you're important only because you have on that shirt. You will be stripped of that shirt if you don't move in honor. It's not about the logo. It's not about the name of the organization. It's about who you are as a human being first. We'll be saying, Thanks. turn our nose up at people all day long. You won't turn your nose up till you fall off a cliff because you can't even see straight. Worried about what people, man. The first point on the 10 point plan originally, and then I will add something that will be relevant in 2022, 2023, and what we plan to do in the future and how we want to execute and continue to allow this to be a part of our people. We want freedom. We want power to determine the destiny of our black community. Well, in order for us to attain freedom and liberation, to attain the power, because there's a lot of people out here already doing it. I'm not going to hold you. There are people out here that's doing it. One way to obtain that freedom and that power of the destiny of our people is to acknowledge that our people are on a spectrum. And I'm not talking about the spectrum of autism or, 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 or labels. No, because those are our people as well. Right. It, it goes beyond that. It includes them and beyond. Meaning we must know what the black community consists of. All the little intricacies, we must know our people through and through in order to accurately determine what freedom looks like to them. Don't go out there saying you want freedom for this. And I'm talking to every Panther that's in their area so you know the, the hearts and souls of your people and your community. Don't just go out there and read from a script and say, this is, this is, this is for you. Because guess what? They're going to look at you and be like, I don't even know you, son. Fact. You don't speak for me because you don't care to know me for real. You're using this as a clout chase. No, we, we got to step away from that. Stand on your own merit, black man, right. black woman, black That's family. Right. Stand on your own merit. Go out there without your logo one day and talk to the people like you're a human being. Then come back with your logo and then let them mm -hmm. know what you did for stand and represent. Right. Don't be out there egotistic, trying to look good and sound That's good right. and missing the whole purpose of why you out there. That's right. 
And I'm saying this because I did it. I had to. In D.C., it's hard. People come and protest in D.C. all the time. They waiting for the next soapbox to stand on. But guess what? When you go in there differently and you say, look, I'm willing to take this off. If it, if it means that we can talk and have a real conversation and you're not distracted by this, then let's have a conversation. What, what do you really need? I can That's give right. You clothes, I can give you food, but what's going to sustain you? There's some people that are without homes that literally enjoy not having a home. So you mm. might actually offend them by offering them a home. But that's a whole nother conversation. When we're talking about the first point on the 10 point plan, in order for us to attain the freedom that we want, in order for us to attain the power to, to, to talk about the destiny or obtain the destiny of our community, we must go to our community and know all the ins and outs of our community through and through, like my grandmama did, like your grandmama did, like our ancestors really did. They knew their people. That's right. Only outcast people or, or, or remove people when they have caused harm to the people within said community. Until they cause harm, you are not to judge someone falsely. Which we're going we're gonna to address that in this 10-point plan again. Thanks. Number two, we want full employment for our people. Now, I'm about to add to, to number two. Because you could say, well, in 2022, a lot of y'all got some good jobs. I got a nice job in America, right? But guess what? My dream and my goal, because I'm not in snooze anymore, my dream and my goal is to be self-sufficient and be able to work for self and hire right. like-minded people. Therefore, the employment will not be reliant on someone else's goal or business. Correct. We got a whole website right now. Nehemiah is going to hit that and put it in the chat for everybody to see. We have a website right now, but it's not just to brag and boast about our website. It's about to get your mind moving into the right direction of self-efficiency, sufficiency, making sure that we are not living with deficiencies, meaning we are not leaving on any stone unturned. If they can do it, you can do it. There's a lot of, look, can, can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? Hit him with it. It's okay, let's go. There's a lot of successful black businesses out here. I'll be a fool to say that it's not. There's a lot of communities out here doing for their people. We're looking to do the same, but we must check ourselves at the door. Yes, sir. Employ Why do people want employment? People want employment because employment means a means to live. And if you can be employed to do what you naturally love, it won't feel right. like it's an employment anymore. But see, sometimes we get jealous of the person who's employing you. That's correct. Instead of sitting beside them and learning from them. Employment does not have to be a negative term. Not, not at all. So right now we're working on building trade schools for our Panther Cubs to teach them not only how to work with someone else, how to work on something for someone else, but also how to then duplicate that within their own spaces when they grow of age to be able to do so. That's what employment really is, to employ. Employ is an outward word. It means literally moving multiple things. It's not just a job. Don't downplay what you might do for your living. Right. You might be doing that for eight hours of your life can't get that back number three we want to end to the robbery by the white man of our black community we know that that is still going on i do not have to reiterate that and you know why we still know that because they're making films to remind us about that all the time mm. the jeffrey dahmer is the number one film on netflix right now mm. a legitimate robbery by the white man to people of our community that's correct and they didn't take it serious because these were black people, specifically black men, getting murdered. They didn't, they, now they make a film about it. They making an Emmett Till film. That's correct. So, so they want us to always remind, be reminded of the robbery, be reminded of the robbery. But what? guess what? We're going to talk about the victory of our people. I'm going to speak life today. I'm going to add to that. We want to end the robbery by any people 
of the black community. I said it by any people. We got to look at everybody. We got to watch everybody's intentions. Correct. You have to be hyper vigilant on your post about who you're surrounded by, about who has what intentions for you and your purpose, because they might be looking to rob you as well. But if you look at the points one and two, points one and two are legitimate reasons to keep number three from happening. If you're following the points, because what's the point of it all if you're not going to keep up with the points? Right. That's right. Not, not one is greater than the other, but one needs the other in order to... That's achieve. right. We can end the robbery of a white man, and I'll take it into 2022's terms, by any man, by any woman, by any person to our community. If we focus on who our community is, if we focus on the employment by us, for us, in our people, then to stop the... Ro- ro- it, come on, man. Come on, man. So we can stop this robbery because I'm 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 a different type of uh, uh, leader, if you will. Like uh, I, I move in a such way where I understand the human nature beyond the mm. exterior nature. Sometimes I notice people get caught up on what someone looks like, and that's all they can focus on. But you don't pay attention to the emotional intelligence. Of right. So we have that's to right. start bringing in the understanding and the overstanding and the understanding of what it means to look past the flesh and see what the spirit's doing. Because right. we can be getting robbed before our eyes, but you wouldn't know it because you're too mm. busy looking at the wrong person or not looking at everybody. In order to end the robbery by anyone, for our community, you must know who your community is. You must, you must know what it means to own something in your community. You must know what it means to feel like to have nothing and see someone that owns something in your community and feel right. like oh, that person that owns something in said community is withholding from you. Right. See, because we judge people that rob, but we don't ask why do they feel the need to rob? Right. <laughs> Why do they feel so powerless? And I'm specifically talking about people of color. I'm not really talking about the robbery of a white man. I'm elevating the conversation to talk about robbery in general because many counter arguments will be black on black crime. Many counter arguments right. will be we're robbing each other. And you're right. completely right. We are because this is called community crime and community Correct. issues. But when we go back to learning who our community is and acknowledging everyone in our community and acknowledging people that may not act like you in your community, Stop judging people that don't act like you or look like you right. prematurely before you make a decision on how you want to help that person. Then we can start talking about how to keep people from robbing our community. That's right. Are we talking today? This is the youth talking today. Our mentor gave us the microphone to talk to y'all today because this is the heart of the community. And I'm not speaking about Elijah being the heart of the community. I'm speaking about the people that I listen to day by day that do not trust the elders right now. And y'all can say y'all don't trust us. I understand. I understand. I understand. Because y'all say we do not listen. Let me help work on that while you work with your people so we can come back. The next step. Number four, we want... Decent housing fit for shelter of human beings. We know we got to scrap that word decent. Right. At that time, they was asking for decent, and we needed that to even be able to know what that demand is. Right. Our elders came before us to demand of decent. Now we are demanding more. And we're not demanding. Look, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm not Mm. demanding any other place. I'm demanding that of ourselves. I'm not demanding that of any other place but of ourselves. That's right. Because when we look at ourselves and ask ourselves, what have we done to this point to even acquire this within ourselves, then we no longer even want to ask the other people. We, we Look, there's no handouts in life. Right. It's That's only, right. It's, a, it's only disappointment and entitlement. 
My generation gets caught up in being entitled all the time or asking for that because they That's felt facts. like they was abandoned by the economy before us. They felt like they was abandoned by the circumstances of our elders becoming burnt out to the point where they worked themselves to a point where they can no longer help generational wealth. And now it's a bitter, uh, a bitter That's uh, right. uh, disagreement or, or right. friction between our people because we want a better life. You wanted a better life for us. You gave us a better life, but now we don't know what life was like with you or during your time because right. we lacked the empathy because empathy was not raised up in us so we can't be empathetic about things that you don't know how to properly express yes and why am i saying this when i'm on the number fourth point of decent housing fit for shelter of a human being because the shelter like a church is internal a shelter is internal we're going That's back right. to the word being human not human being being human, being and human. In order to be sheltered you must therefore be loved what did luther say a house mm, is not house a is not a home hmm you can be in a building all day long, but who is in the building occupying said building? Let somebody send that. We can that's talk right. about gentrification all day long, my lord. I see it. Oh, that's know why. Neighborhoods that got knocked down. My yeah. father used to run berry farms. It got knocked down. I know this area, but guess what? We can't cry over spilled milk. Only thing we can do is create the farms that's going to get our next cows. So we Fair. no longer will be asking about it anymore. That's right. I hate to say it, but it's time for us to evolve. Raise up another chess piece. Do what you have to do. We can, we can create. We're at the point in time where we can create the buildings. I'm seeing it. We can create the land. I'm seeing it. But what happens when you get the land? Will the people be ready to maintain it? Will the people be ready to sustain it healthily? Will people be ready to have the, the, the literacy and the articulation of what it means to be on that land long term? We got to play the long game. I'm not here for instant gratification or pacification. I'm here for us to really raise our nation, not just be on the next plantation. Because the next plantation can be from someone that looks just like you, being honest with you. So let's slow it down. We don't want decent housing anymore. We want the best housing that is fitted for our people, that is unique to our people and their circumstances. Because a housing is internal, meaning it must have your soul in mind. You might go down to uh, Texas and thinking Texas will be right for you. But realistically, Texas might be too scorching hot for your, your body type. So you might want to move somewhere else. So it, it can't just be about housing. It has to be about housing that fits your community. Uh-oh, that's number four. We're still talking about our community, how each one goes hand in hand. See, your housing infrastructure should be able to be protected. What well, we always talk bad about gated communities. Well, why don't you gate your own community? Protect your own community. We should have security. That's why we got our MODs, our national MODs, because we have to be willing to protect our own community and whatever that means and looks like to our specific community is what it will look like to our specific community. We should be one nation, but guess what? We'll be different tribes in one nation, meaning each different tribe does its different things and respects the other tribe and their different things, but we all still have one central goal of an entire nation. So we're not asking for decent housing. We're asking for housing that's fit for the people that's living there. And that means fit for shelter of human beings or for the process of being human. And what does that look like? That means being in love, surrounded by love, an environment that is healthy and nurturing of the people that's coming after them. Also an environment that is full of protection to secure that love. So what does that mean? That means we have to start building, like, like me and Nehemiah talked about last week, like the project that we're taking on in terms of starting up a trade school, where that trade school would exist in my, my car owning car dealership business. I'm working on getting a license to become a car dealer, because as a car dealer, you can then supply different things to the community and also make it a multi-purpose facility. That's just one idea that I'm currently working on that someone else can go and make bigger. 
or do something else similar that will supply the people with what they need at the time of need. Then it will start becoming a bigger thing where you will have the housing near such facilities where it's now creating that job life system that you ask for. And again, this is focused on self and it's then, then making the self, self branch outward. Number five, hang in there y'all. Y'all know we are going. And we're going strong and I love y'all. Let's keep going. Number five, we want education for our people that exposes the true nature of this decadent American society. We want education that teaches our true history and our role in the present day society. Mm. Well, I mean, it doesn't take much for me to tell you that you know that there are books created by our people that's right people that express who our people are and also goes back and does the unlearning process of what you learned that was false and inadequate <laughs> but at this time when this book when this was originally written in 1967 there was no such thing so in 2022 going into 2023 while they're that's trying right. to race critical race theory while they're trying right. to take stuff out of the curriculum, guess what? We can learn a thing or two from Dr. Umar Johnson. Guess That's what? Fast. We can learn a thing from two from Dr. Attorney Malik Julius Shabazz, who created right. his own book about a legacy of a powerful great man. We can That's learn right. a thing or two from the nation of Islam that's creating structures, schools all around. Come on, we can learn that's a thing right. from the Moorish nation that that's right. is in the United States. We can learn a thing or two from people that are literally creating curriculums of study and lessons, even in the ebook, hidden colors, the digital format, having e classes like we're doing right now, the Liberation Academy. That's right. To be able to educate our people without having the filter or funnel of miseducation, deception, and lies. We don't have to settle for that anymore. To settle for it, it's a choice. You are ignorant until you find out that you've been duped. The moment you find out you've been duped, it is now your time to rise above and that's be right. yourself. We cannot be choice ignorant anymore. Like I said last week, we're no longer in the age of information. We're in the age, the age of, of application. application. Because the That's information has been here. It's been, our ancestors had done the work. Francis Quest West, come on. Our ancestors right. have done the mighty work. That's right. To then be able to go back, learn it, and apply it. So yes, number five is very profound in what it was in 1967. It's still accurate in what it is in its depiction in 2022. But we also know that we're talking on a device right now that gives us the ability to learn and filter properly. You're right. What does that mean? If you if you saying that you want our people to know our true uh, uh, history and our true lessons, because right. I, I know our, our brothers and sisters are Pan African, right. Black nationalists. Right. I know those belief systems. We exist in those belief systems. Well, guess what? What about your brother and sister that's that doesn't really believe wholeheartedly in that, but wants to still support the cause? Okay, well, let's have a sit down. We're not going to debate. We're going to sit no. down. We're going to sit down and how can it work for the both of us? Humble ourselves before the most high. That's right. Two or more gathered in their name is a joy oh. unto the that's heavens. Right. The heavens want to hear the conversations of the different tribes and how the different tribes can move as a nation. So that means if we're going to talk about re-educating our people in a proper way, can right. you have a school that is partnered with another school that doesn't necessarily teach exactly how and what you say? If not, then it sounds like you want to do the same propaganda. Come on now. Come on. We ain't here Come to propagate. We're not here to replace Massa with a black Massa and say we're going to follow this black nope. Massa. No neo-colonialism. No, sir. We're not doing that. Our people are equal here. And we know that being black is a spectrum. So we're going to respect people's identity. We're going to expect, respect people's life as long as it is not harmful to others. Even harmful to themselves. We have to talk about that. The mental yes. health facilities that need to be established for our people. 
That's fact. I got someone right now. Matter of fact, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going because this is the education part. I got somebody I'm about to plug right now. He doesn't know it. He's not even on this live. I guarantee you, he's not on this live because I just saw him back at the Bowie homecoming I went to this weekend, reconnecting with my people of old, letting them know I'm in a new position of life to mm. come back, Sankofa, to take us forward. That's right. Guess what? Some of them was judging me about who I used to be, and I was telling them I'm not that man anymore. It's right. been five to seven years. If Come you on, man. About who I was back there, then guess what? You are very much de indeed deceived to believe I will be that same person. Come on, man. Evolved. Yep. You have evolved. We have evolved. So because we evolved, we must then go back and have serious conversations with people that are willing to evolve as well. That's right. Because that's what we're in it for, right? Each one, teach one. Come on. That's what we're in it for. I'm about to read off on, on, on something that's that's a real deal. And it's, it's it goes hand in hand with the education aspect. It goes hand in hand with having a adequate education, adequate people that is willing to educate our people. I have a brother who has his PhD in mental health therapy that is giving wow. out free therapy sessions online, free consultations online for people of color that need it i'm looking for his number right now and the reason why i'm looking for it because i need y'all to know this stuff exists this is not just something i'm making up this is not just something that we just grabbed out of the sky and said okay let's do it this way do it that way no this is something that truly exists in the world that you exist in and look, Nehemiah just put in the website. Y'all can t tune into the website in the meantime as I look for what I'm looking for to support one of our people. But you have to acknowledge this stuff. This stuff comes because we are willing to make the sacrifice. Correct. This stuff comes because people are getting their blood, sweat, and tears to their purpose. And as we continue to do it, just know that you too have to be willing to fight. You too Facts. have to be willing to join in the cause. I keep saying put down our pride because oftentimes we find ourselves called caught up in pride and that yes. pride gets in the way of who you can be we can be so much greater if we was willing to unite with other people i'm saying that because uh and i'm going to plug my brother right now g5g that's a, a, a social fellowship organization on a black campus uh just like the greeks you got the greeks that are uh, fraternities and sororities i don't agree with everything they do but it's not my job to but it's also right. my job to acknowledge that these are people that are moving organized that are planning to work with our people in some facet and have people align right. with them can we sit down at the table and talk with them this brother is a is a member of g5g his name is jay fuller Jay Fuller is a licensed school psychologist, and he's currently giving out free mental health consultations. So I'm going to get wow. the number into this chat. He doesn't know I'm going to do this, but I'm doing this because part of the 10 point plans is said we want to change the way education is taking place. Right. Well, let's start with the mental health. So in the mental bandwidth and the emotional intelligence to be able to talk about what we went through, because we're still going through post-traumatic slave Come on. Come on. There you go. Dr. There you go. Gregory, post traumatic yep. slave disorder, post traumatic slave syndrome. We still got that PTSD going on. Right. Because it wasn't that long ago. My father, my mother was the one of the first people to integrate her high school. First, one right. out of five that integrated her high school. Wasn't so that long ago at all. Long, it wasn't that long ago. And I'm not saying I understand my elders for their feelings and, and their emotional pain and turmoil for what they went through. And I empathize with that. And I want my generation to also empathize with that and acknowledge why they speak as passionately as they do, why they don't trust other people like, like we, we sometimes wish they would. Well, they've been yes. traumatizing things and those traumatizing things do not get talked about enough. So a part of the education <laughs> needs to be mandatory mental health health check-ins from life right. not just calling your brother all the time just <laughs> right the time and, and dumping on them no because they got their own stuff go to a licensed psychologist or a therapist it's okay to heal because guess what no one wants a soldier out there that's going to get slaughtered because they can't think straight right 
We all know soldiers go through PTSD. We know being black That's right. PTSD all the time. That's so what right. What I'm gonna do is drop this brother's information, and I t- I'm telling you by by the most high by the most high's guidance, this is off the whim. This is not planned. So I'm saying that it, it, he will be very surprised and a and blessed to have seen at least one of you all messaged him and, and give him a ring for the free consultation. Come on, man. But we, we're going to keep moving with these points. We're going to keep moving with these points. Just know that the education does not have to come at the expense of another Black community that is teaching as well. Let's work That's together right. with them. Let's read the books that already That's read. right. You're not reinventing the wheel. You're just making it better. Right, right now, we're trying to get to the point where we're not driving no wheels anymore. We have hover cars. We're trying That's to get right. to the point where we start being the real Wakanda. Everybody talks talks about everyone's That's talking right. about the uh, uh new black pa- panther movie coming out and i remember how people felt about the other black panther movie black that came pa- out, which had bossman the king uh yeah. r.i.p well we have to acknowledge there's a reason why the new film has woman empowerment on there and it's right of woman empowerment same thing as what was it called the sister warrior movie what's the name warrior woman, uh, woman, woman king Woman King. I believe. There's a reason why these movies exist. Yes, they are to empower our women, but also for our women to have the conversation with our men about what That's right. it's like to them to be powerful. And right. for men to have a corresponding, not a reaction, but a corresponding conversation about how we both can have power together without stripping each other of each other's power. And what That's right. it's like. Not power at the expense of another, but power in unity with another. And that's true education as well. That that's right have to unlearn the habits of the old and unload the habits of the crude and unlearn the habits of the people that always allude to us being angry black people that are rude. Mm-hmm. that's right y'all got me here tonight y'all got nehemiah here tonight people have been wondering what the youth has been doing we're not just talking I'm telling you, hopefully y'all can see that link that I just dropped there of the uh, contact. That's a brother I trust with my life. Y'all add him. Y'all also got the new BPP.org website that you can go yes. to in order to get the needs of our people because we are a nation that needs to start working closer together. So why buy outhouse when you can buy in-house? Come on, man. There you go. Keep going with these points. I'm going to keep going with these points. Nehemiah, you want to check in real quick, brother? All right, best believe. Six, we want all black men to be exempt from military service. When we look at uh, the reason for this being, well, even after, after we've seen certain Panthers that had, you know, left, you know, that hell, that hellfire, left those wars, uh, there was a question proposed, as Brother had said, given reference to Muhammad Ali. Why should I be, fight Viet Cong? Viet Cong never called me nigga. Viet Cong never uh, 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 fought me and took away my right to live, my freedoms. Viet Cong has never been my enemy when I want freedom for my education, freedom for my religion, freedom for my economics, freedom to live, freedom just to live. Freedom just to live. We can just stop it right there, freedom just to live. When we look at this military service, we see our people go off and fight a proxy war that they don't even have a clear understanding of, just pawns to crash out and be cannon fodder while the real uh, objectives of the wars are going behind enemy lines and black ops. Uh, We see our people fight over there. They bleed and they die and they get nothing. We can go in the past and see these things, how we were taught Later on in life, it has been taught us that Haiti fought in a war for our freedom. What did they get? They got nothing. Uh, even if we go, want to go to the Seminole Wars after they were fighting and having to fight and fight and they were soon displaced, John Horse and the rest of them, later regarded and called Buffalo Soldiers, fought for America. They got nothing. We see uh, the Native Americans today living on places that they call reservations. And even with this fracking, we see that these are just all reservations. So we say we shouldn't fight in these military conflicts that have nothing to do with us and inherit our open enemies' enemies and leave us with nothing 
as we see in AFRICOM today. These nations ruled by proxy neo-colonialists and go off and fight in wars that have nothing to do with them, but they only get crumbs of white global dominance. Uh, they only get the crumbs of that. They still get nothing. Um, when we look today of those who are, we are can't to it, even who we are, you may be one that served in the military. Yeah, you have benefits. Yes, you have a check coming. But those who went off in war, ask yourself, was it worth it? Taking the blood of, Venice, of a fight, you know that? Going into a land, being a death angel for a cause that you didn't even know the ends and not about. And we get nothing but a check. Our nation does not gain off that. And you say, well, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be a patriot. Well, think about it like this. Your people were displaced. Your people were displaced and killed and maimed and hung all because somebody served in, to the military. Didn't know what the war was about. Didn't know why they were he uh, holding captives. Didn't know why they were ravaging this city and didn't know why they were burning this home and didn't know why they were killing this children and didn't know why they killed this child in front of the mom or the mom and the father in front of the children. So this right here uh, has only hindered us even now. Most of the vets around here shell-shocked and so that doesn't help us. If anything, we need a military of our own. We need a military in our own community to stop the terroristic violence and to stop the violence, uh, 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 and to stop the, uh, uh, not just the violence, but to stop the rapes in our community, to stop the killing in the community, to stop these big turf wars and gang wars in our community. Well, let's look at point number seven. On, we want an immediate. Real quick, before you, you're going strong, brother. I want to add to that. To, to where you was going to with yes, the 2022 conversation in 2023 and beyond. I won't check. To, to your point and what you're saying. And I want people to hear us very clearly because we know that we are paramilitary and there are people that were former service members. We do thank you for the fact that you were yes. able to go through a process to learn yes. and train to become someone that is very powerful and disciplined. That's right. And know that you changed your life because of something that you perceive to be better. I do not want to disrespect any not of brothers, sisters, or others that are in the in active service or, or have acted in service for their community because they believe it was the right thing. Even if right. you're a police officer, I do not want to disrespect you. I do want right. you to ask yourself in 2022 and 2023, is there a way that I can duplicate this processing? Is there a way I can duplicate this information? information in this lessons to my people back at home and train them to be as sharp, if not sharper, than that That's correct. I have went and learned and studied from. And I don't blame you for taking the benefits, because guess what? At That's point right. Number six, at point number six, if you had not addressed five points back, then that's how you arrive at point number six, where you believe that you had no other choice but to join the military. Correct. Five to number six, where you said I needed the benefits. Yes. Everything was not done five points before. Therefore, we yes, right. failing our people to reach us six points into our purpose to where they still believe they have to go fight a war, even if they're right. taking it from a remote control they still are desensitized to it because they're so used to doing it because they're getting paid to do it. Well, That's right. right. In 2022 and 2023 beyond, we are looking to gain the ability and working to gain the ability to have competitive rates of money, of capital, of lifestyle, where you will no longer have to go to these places in order to feel like you can sufficiently live the rest of That's your right. life. We are planning and working and diligently building people, not just to be soldiers, because the word soldier has a stigma to it, but to be yes. people that are willing to protect at all costs their loved ones in That's a right. righteous way. We're looking to make sure that they can have those same resources if they were not in the military. We don't want That's the correct. military to be the means in which someone decides if they're going to have resources right. for the rest of their life. So you must 
go through five points of purpose before you get to that six point of purpose and say that you would not do this same thing. Because if you have not done those first five points, therefore right. the sixth point is the reason why you're getting caught up joining something that you yes. otherwise did not care to join because the benefit there was bigger than the doubt. See, every That's time right. someone says I give something the benefit of the doubt. Mm. Can you doubt the benefit first? Mm. I, I'm gonna give the military the benefit of the doubt because I don't see it nowhere else. Mm. I don't see that money anywhere else. I got a brother right now, just he's getting out of the military yeah. and he's living good. He's getting paid well. I yes. he got three kids as, as well, though. Yes. He got a family to feed. That's Guess right. what? I cannot doubt the benefit until I create something where he does not have to be a part of the military. That's facts. We want to say, don't do this. Don't do that. Well, what is your solution? Right. Alternative that's competitive to that in which they're going to. Right. Because it pays. Do. Come on. That's why they go. It pays. Come on. You're going to get some quick bread in the military. And you might get lifelong benefits to Yes. Die. They will yes. take care of you. I got uncles. I'm I'm gonna be yep. you know, I gotta be honest. Be honest, bro. Family members that served and they enjoyed serving for 30 plus years of this system yes. because oh, they yeah. had the benefits until they died. They That's had right. an honorable barrier, a burial that was made in honor. Right. Fold the flag, the shots, and everything. For real, so, for real. So so if we're not willing to in a healthy way duplicate that, take right. it, revise it, and make it for our people, then we cannot compete. That's correct. So we are currently not just talking about being a paramilitary. We're going through We're five building. points of purpose in order to make it such to where people will not have to go to said military. That's so right. That we don't want to be a part of. Go on, brother. I just had to say that. Right. Oh, no, nah, man. No, no, no. That was beautiful. You're right now. You got to bring it to modern times and always compare and contrast. Number six. Oh, number seven. All right. Number seven, apologies. We want to move it in to police brutality and murder of black people. Again, this is the time. 1967. We must remember the time. 1967. Remember the time. How did... When you think of 1967, we want immediate end to police brutality and murder of black people. 1967. Today is 2022. Going on the threshold of 2023. We still want that. And we know, and now, in this current day, we were taught what we must do and what we believe and what we know to stop that. But let's think about 1967, the immediate end to police brutality and the murder of black people. In 1967, in time that predates that as well, but during this time was some of the most overt racist police. Come on. Yeah, they had our people, yeah, our people served and they were to be the the hope that we needed in our uh in, in our in our community where our people, you know, our people became police officers, but still the bulk of the police department at 67 overtly racist. Even around this time, when we even think about the Vietnam War and how these uh, uh, vets entered into a lot of the police department, where your police department now has a strong military presence. And we see the uh, support the blue with the bl blue line on the black, letting us know that small minority population of a, uh, of, of a workforce that are to protect and serve will be on the black. And it's been targeted since such. Now, we say immediate end to police brutality. Immediate from 1967. This is not uh, uh, asking. As the brother said through the various six uh, previous six points, they're all based on something. We must use our own self-determination and stop that end. We, we're not asking them to stop. We're asking us to make it stop. So we're taught that we can do this through Community, uh, black people, community militias. Your your community militia is just not a gun. It's a police force. You have you have those who are in the communications, your neighborhood watch. They may not be suited and booted to tool up, but they're 
but they suited and booted and got the radio on, or they suited and booted and got your own speed down. They'll tell you what's going on in the community. They'll tell you where the pigs is at. All y'all know, when the pigs be stopping people, y'all be on the social media, or you, you text somebody and let them know, hey, they got a roadblock, such and such, such. You just upheld that point. You're looking out for people, or whenever your people get stopped by, you creep by the police scene real slow. They see what's going down and who's there. And if somebody's doing something inappropriate, what are you going to be doing? You're going to try to stop it. But these decades have gone by. And we think that photo ops in the community or something like that, you know, all, it looks good. But a lot of these things are still just baseless. How can a police officer that does not live in that community know how to attend and handle these people in that community. Talk about it. Just because you take pictures don't mean like you know that community. So just as the brother also said, we have to organize and uh, get past the title mindset and organize in our community, knowing who's in our community. That's the only way we ourselves can be best fit for this point. In order for us to end it, we have to look over black life. We have to be our brother's keeper. We have to be our sister's keeper. We have to know about these people and know who our people are and you and use just how they had in the olden days. Everybody's family. And it we see today still police brutality at an alarming rate. It's 2022 and the way that they're uh, attacking our people looks like 1922. It's 2022 and the way that we're being laid out on the pavement with cameras and pictures and they put it on the newspaper. You would swear it's 1922. You swear that these same lynchings that you went through the past day of the capitalizing of black death and Sean King getting all the praise for bringing these videos to the news. We have seen it just be that, the desensitization of black death to where we don't look over life because of this desensitization of black death. So again, when you look at to put an end to it, you also must look at the number six of why six is there. Mm. In order for that to happen, we need something in the community for us to watch. Right now, your statistics have shown that the FBI had to do a quiet investigation on law enforcement, seeing that over 80% of them are in bed with neo-Nazis and white nationalists and far-right extremists. You've seen in Charlestonville. You've seen the collusion of law enforcement, neo-Nazis and white nationalists at an event in Charlottesville called Unite the Right. You have seen recently on January the 6th where they're holding a trial on it for the Oath Keepers and other white nationalist American patriot groups. These people go to the documents, look it up, prove this a lie. These people were in collusion with not just regular local law enforcement, but even into the White House of, uh, what's the last name, Flynn? <clears throat> in your military, look it up. To the top, these people, white nationalist group here, neo-Nazi group here, even now in Ukraine. There's reports of money going to an ultra-nationalist battalion in Ukraine. Neo-Nazis, well, they funnel that money across the world. So you're saying, what are you talking about? That's why we must say, however we're going to put an end to this, is not begging. It's us doing the work with our hands, tending to our own grass and being accountable for each other, putting our pride aside and sheathing our swords in unity. And when it's time to struggle, we unsheathe our swords. We're not telling you to go out and do anything and be an aggressor. We're telling you when aggressed upon, we need to form some type of counter group to counter that aggression. You must have a neighborhood watch. Uh, QEP and them used to have pig patrols. Well, just like the cop is stalking you on the street when you drive by and you say, is he going to follow me? Well, you follow him. You see what they're doing. You go where they go. You hang out where they hang out. And that's usually in your poor part of town. That's usually where our people are. That's, you know, and you could go there to the end of the month, you know, and, 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 and do these things. Anything that you want to lay on this brother on this point, number seven? Yes, um, 
to add value to what my brother Nehemiah is saying and to evolve it further into the 2022 to 2023, acknowledging again, it goes back to the, the points that are before it, knowing your community, knowing that people are a spectrum. Black people are not just a point, they are entire spectrum, which means yes. you should be able to be comfortably in your community on both ends of the stick. It don't just yes. say murder of black people by police brutality, it says right. murder of black people. That's it also right. means to end police brutality, meaning, yes, we can end police brutality as long as we know what to police and how to police properly because yes. we have some of the best trainers now such as Brother Kwesi. We have some of the best, uh, uh, most sound, mentally judging, calculating yes. people to deal with, where they displayed in their firearm instruction, in dry firearm instruction, which is coming up, mind you, uh, thank you, uh, you just kind of jogged my memory to remind people that there is a dry fire pistol and rifle online yes. training this yes. Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And that number, uh, Nehemiah, can you put this in a, uh, a chat, that phone number to sign up for the drive, fire, pistol, and rifle training this Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time is 850-322-8725. And the reason why I'm, we're sharing all this information, giving you the numbers and giving the things that we need people to acknowledge and you need the Panther gear in order to be a part of that because you want to be able to be stylish and comfortable and competent and have something that's practical in usage. Then the new Black Panther Party products are on newbpp.org. The reason why we're talking about this is because we have new leaders because the most yes. The, the Honorable Attorney Malik Zulu Shabazz had humbled himself and had brought in people that were not a part of our organization that saw we're doing better than our organization and offered them the ability to train our organization so that we can all be one. That's right. Y'all got to understand where we're going in the future. It's not just about you. It's not just about I. It's about we. And the reason why I say the you and the I is because the N and the T makes unity. So that's the reason reason why we got to do this because we have to then acknowledge when you have people that are competently training you you're not going to go out there looking stupid right and i'm not disrespecting anybody in their ability to be educated but it's just to say that some of the things that we've done in the past and myself included have done in the past have been straight out of ignorance because we watch movies or we know the poopy right. down the street with the strap and we think that we know how to handle a firearm and i see a lot of people out here shooting up neighborhoods because they right. don't know how to hit a target. I know too many people out here shooting themselves, cheddar bobbing, because they accidentally hurting themselves. I know too many people out here killing innocent life because right. they got an extendo, they got an extended drum, 30 rounds to 100 mm. rounds shooting right. at apartment complexes, trying to get their ops, and really all they do is killing innocent people because for one, they never train. Secondly, they don't have the emotional intelligence because they don't care to get the emotional intelligence. Third, they couldn't solve their conflicts with their brother and sister. They sat Come on. Up long ago and then lastly we then don't realize that you're turning your firearm on people that are yes. not a part of your war don't that part firearm on social media youth i'm talking to my people now don't be dancing with no gun or no dag on uh instagram talking right. about some you about to go uh spin the block or whatever you want to call it don't be out there doing that just to self-incriminate yourself don't be out here trying to wield a firearm if you are not knowing that that's an extension of who you are. Mm, mm, and I'm not a master of marksman. This is coming from up top. Don't point your firearm at anything you're not willing to shoot. But yet we're strong right. enough to be dancing with people in music videos. And I'm right. saying that to my men because my men have to lead by example. The that's woman right. is learning properly and we must also learn properly. And a part of that means we must be willing to know who's a soldier and who is not supposed to be soldiering. Like me personally, I'm going to learn as much as I can, but I don't care to be soldiering all the time because that's not my calling. I, we have security for that. 
I right. trained with the DMV MOD OC Chris. That is my brother. That is my soldier. That is the soldier I will go to when it's time to soldier. But guess what? He is sharpening me up. So if anything was to happen, the most high, right. I will be competent and capable how to act and not react in that situation. So you must go paintballing. We're not just That's going right. fun. We're learning what it means to be like a team in a tense situation. We're going paintballing because when we go paintballing, which we have done multiple times, when we go paintballing as a unit, we're in tense situations where your emotional intelligence must kick in to That's show right. how to move, organize. We're not just shooting down range or learning how to just shoot down range. But right. Quasi will tell you, any of the other MODs will tell you off the rip that before you can shoot you have to dry fire because they're telling right. you it's an extension of yourself now you might say well brother devon i don't see you out here dry firing you're damn right you don't see me doing it and i'm gonna hold myself accountable i just got my hql right now i'm working on getting my carry out here in maryland because maryland just loosened up our laws but there's no That's what's up. because i know my soldiers are top soldiers and they're going to get me through it and if i'm holding right. myself accountable you got to hold yourself accountable that's right i don't care how old you are i don't care if you were a private serviceman i don't care if you was former military or uh, whatever i don't care how i don't care if you think you're john wick guess what anybody can get knocked off if they're not always yes. properly training their mind body and soul to be on purpose so if That's you're right. going to talk about stopping the murder of black people you must then know your community know That's your right. people know why they're murdering each other know how to de-escalate situations before a firearm is even brought out know how to disarm someone if they pull out a firearm in a peaceful and calm way where other people are not endangered and then you must also know what it means to police that's right because we want to end police brutality but sometimes we'll be walking down the street in bdus not knowing that not all of us are ready to even wear a bdu yeah you saw y'all see me i don't know if y'all notice or not but i have been getting skinny I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but this time last year, when, when attorney Malik has put me on post to become a youth minister and focusing on being a DMV chairman, I was at least 30 pounds heavier. Mm. The most high to be, to be bear witness. Because when we went to those trainings out of this state and I was getting dusted by men twice my age, I got embarrassed and I said, I will not allow this. I want to compete and then I want to be better. Right. We have our MODs and our, our defense trainers that are going to require us to go and compete in these competitions with firearms. Yes. That's right. And they're going to have to approve the, 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 the material that we wear to hold and harvest our firearm. They're going to teach us if our firearm is crap. And guess right. what? If you cannot have a firearm because you have a previous life that affects, if you can have that, if that, that's okay too. Guess what? Pick up a sword. Learn how to be a master of something else. That's Even right. Weapon. Learn yourself. There are no excuses. Come on now. Throw your dukes up. There are no <laughs> <Don't> dukes. <laughs> There are no excuses. Yes. If anybody saw me on Instagram this past weekend, again, I celebrated my birthday. And, and, and I'm addressing this when anyone ever try to address my, my, my mentor but about me. I'm going to tell you about me. Yes, I am in the entertainment industry. Yes, I do work with these artists. Yes, I do be in D.C. frequently where there's a lot of artists that come that are national. Yes, you will see me in the club interacting with these people. Yes, you will see me being social with these people in the spirit of fellowship because I am right. not afraid to go on that block and talk to people on the block as a righteous man saying I'm right. not afraid to be a righteous man in the club stop fearing That's your right. purpose if the most high oh boy if I'm Come talking on. now because we want to talk about we want to talk about ending murder of black people but you don't go where they're getting murdered we want right. to talk about ending police brutality but you don't know how to go in different environments to become what they consider a chameleon you don't yes. know what it means to have fellowship with people that you long have become disconnected to and now you're right. a closet elitist because you got out of touch with who they were and now you tote your nose up at people go right. to those clubs with those people have yes. conversations with those people in their environment meet them where they are and uh. raise them up Yes, I broke That's right. this weekend. I went to my college. I did have a couple of drinks. What are you going to say? I'm also on purpose. I did not miss this meeting. 
That's right. The work continues. I, I worked eight hours plus today and I'm still on this meeting. There are no excuses for right. being your purpose. Just because you right. want to see me somewhere that you don't agree with, mind your business and make sure your business is working for you. Right. We can be a part of the same community and doing two different missions. But as long as you're on your mission, trust me, Come on. I will be on my That's facts. That's right. And guess what? I had my brother Dantes right there with me the entire weekend. One of my soldiers was on post the entire time as I maneuvered. What does that mean? That means you do not move her alone. That's right. That means that you might be in tense situations or calming situations, but you're always alert and on purpose with someone that will hold you accountable for being That's right. purpose. We do not That's run right. away from accountability. If That's you right. want to stop black killing, hold yourself accountable. Accountable. You run to it. Reason, That's right. You might be the freaking reason why someone gets killed. You might be the reason why someone that's trusting your life gets killed. You that's might right. be the reason why, man. Let, let me Come on. Look, look, look. I hear, I heard about the history. I've heard about the history, not of just our organization, but organizations of Black people all the time. Excuse my language. But I've heard about the history of how Black people be their own demise. COINTELPRO, we can speak that all day long. But ask yourself, have you been an agent of your own people? And there you we're, go. We're in 2022. It does not take much to be an agent. Right. It does not take much. You don't, they don't have to sign you up anymore. Nope. But because you're not locked in on purpose and being intentional with your relationships, you might not even know what someone is talking to you about and know how to help them properly. So you might tick somebody off and Cause them ending murder. your life prematurely because you pissed somebody off and you pressed the buttons you were supposed to mend and heal. That's right. What happened to Nipsey Hussle should have never happened to Nipsey Hussle. What happened to PNB Rock should have never happened to PNB Rock. They're going to say, well, there was rappers. Well, why do you think they had to be rappers? Why do you think they wanted to get rich and wealthy? Maybe because That's they right. didn't have an alternative that they thought they should have went That's to. That's right. Because we did not offer the proper tournament. Stop talking about the fallen and it's that the fallen fail because they wanted to fall. Because we were not willing to catch them. Hold yourself accountable. We want to stop the killing of our people. Well, stop killing your damn self. That's right. You want to talk about the Percocets and all these pills, the fit and all to be on the city? Who's stopping that? Who's bringing up the youth and mentoring them and giving them alternative? Right. We be talking bad about the marijuana business. We know the marijuana business has been decriminalized, and we also know that people have it for medicinal purposes. But That's some right. of the egos are in the way that they won't go about it, making it a proper way. And we talk right. about all the people that got hurt from it from the past, which is the truth. But we right. don't know how to go about getting into these industries in a proper contextual way to show how eloquent and proper things can right. be if we put our hands on it. But That's stop right. always judging people and circumstances without helping them because you're hurting in the long run. Acclimate. That's right. That you, we need to understand how deep number seven is. And we're at, they say seven is the number of completion. We're going to right. divide really soon. We might not even get through all the 10 points, honestly, because we're flowing, but we, we just know that we, we have to digest everything because everything is need for us yes. to um, become better. We have to unlearn in order to relearn. I don't care That's how right. many times you read rebuild. This. I don't care how many times you read this 10 point plan. It's right. not done until you are done. But one of my right. older mentors, Brother Raymond Shorter, has said, you're not done learning until you die. You're always learning. So humble yourself before the whole most yeah. Just because I'm hosting this, just because Nehemiah is hosting this, does not mean we're greater than you in any way nah. or form. If anything, it's just our time. Because it's our time, celebrate our time and come join me in my time. Yes. Come and help me become a better speaker. Help me. Because I'm a Best good belief. speaker, I'm a great speaker, but I can be better. Yeah, I can yes. be strong when well, come help me. Come help me condense it. That's Get to them points, right? Come on, bro. <laughs> well, that's yes. Help Let's on. help each other. That's right. That's how you can stop the murder of black people by starting it before it gets too far. Right I there. Look, I don't want to see. I don't want to see 
this is just me like really trying to narrow this point on home because these next I'm gonna I'm gonna drive it on home for us. These next few points are are gonna really be set up on a catalyst of the seven point and and forward because we know the six points before are all six points of purpose. Right. These last few are the ones of execution of said purpose. So number seven, I'm gonna say this because we're talking about the murder of black people, and I'm gonna say this, and I know I have the the backs of the people that came before me as well as my current mentor. To, to say this because I heard it far too many times. And yeah, I want you to put your ear close to the microphone, say, did he say it? I don't wanna see any of us out there at any of these conferences if we had not put in the work at home before we hit the conference. These are not mini vacations. These are not right. real trips. You can have fun while we're there. Don't get me wrong. Yes. I wanna party with a Panther any day long because these are my people and I love my people. But the reason why I'm saying this is because we be looking sloppy as hell yes. on these formations when we're leaving and we're departing and it, it, we can be easily picked off yes and, and, and it's because we're not willing to do the work at home because we think this is a quick vacation for us or how we can get a quick bag or how we can look good on instagram and have a photo op i don't care for a photo op bro i am putting my life on the line my mentor is putting his life on his line nehemiah is putting his life on his line the brothers and sisters with the guns in public are putting their, life, putting their life on the line facts so we can go out and party yes but are you did you put did you do your homework before you went outside mm. no. so we ain't even at that point to where we can kumbaya yet right. we gotta get in the dirt on the mission we gotta get on the mission we can't keep faking like we soldiers out here. I don't want to see everybody in a uniform until they're ready to be on a uniform. I want the attorney right. to make that a, 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 a command. We got to vet right. each other better. That's right. We got to ask if we're working out. We got right. to see if we're taking care of our health. That's right. We, we don't want to be overbearing, but we want to at least check in at the least. Right. Checks and balance. That's Come right. On, Logistics. Bro. That's Come right. On, bro. Uh, R.I.P. To, 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 to Chairman Hashim and Zinga, he came before, he came before me. And we know how that brother uh, transitioned. I have so many family members that passed away. I, I just had one of my family members pass away, uh, and I just saw them on Labor Day. They passed away from a heart attack. Young. Because we don't talk about this enough. Murder of Black people don't just got to be by the gun. Yes. So we be going having these powwows, but we don't never have to sit down and have these real conversations. This is a conversation today. This is not a lecture. Yes. This is not a class. This is a conversation. This is me talking to you at your screen and getting you very uncomfortable about the shit that we call taboo. Because we gotta talk about it. I love you. I'm not. I'm not about to keep uh, uh, not only wasting my resources, but wasting my mentor's resources. Right for us to link up to do nothing when we leave. And I'm dead ass serious. I'm sorry, I keep cursing, but I'm so serious because I want us to acknowledge that there are people putting their lives on the line yes. to ensure that there are generations after us to take what we're doing serious. And to be serious That's does facts. not mean to be mundane and boring. We are a right. colorful people. Don't right. think this means, yeah, I'm serious and- Right. No, you, you look like a caricature. You look like a Key and Peele skit. You That's can right. be serious and still have a sense of humor. <laughs> For real, bro. Like you can be serious and have a sense of humor. <laughs> That's right. Play and it's a time to get your shit together. That's we right. Need to find balance. I'm a Libra all That's day right. long. We need to find balance. Right. I need to be an example of balance. So guess right. what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chairman Elijah dyed his hair, and did I ask somebody to dye my hair? No, because th this is my balance. We're about to wrap it up real shortly, but really what we're saying is there is balance that must be done yes. to this. And if you're yes. not willing to put the work out in the field, you don't deserve to be on any field. That's right. If you're not willing to take yourself serious or take your brother serious when they're talking about training, then you don't yes. need to be a part of this community. Respectfully, that's right. Respectfully, there might be a community for you that's okay with that because we're still different tribes. Hear me out. We're still a part of the same nation. Guess what? I was a C student in school, but an A student would be doing flips and tricks around me in terms of the education uh, aspect. 
but we can still work together. So let me go ahead and right. the last few and then I'm going to wrap it up. But I just had to say that, like, we have to be willing to take ourselves serious at home before we Facts. try to talk about taking stuff serious apart. Because accountability, I, I, with my own eyes, I bear witness too many times for us to be out here looking crazy and not crazy because we're out here speaking the truth, but crazy because sometimes we leave our own mentors and our own leaders out there to fry. We get lucky because they don't get fried but we don't want to keep getting lucky we need to be intentional yes that's right number eight and we're just going to flow through these number eight we want freedom for all black men held in federal state county and city prisons and jails we got the black lawyers for justice okay yes we got the sisters that are underground it's not just about black men black men black women right. black others. women whatever you want to call it, people of color. But with that freedom into 2022, into 2023 and beyond, with that freedom, we also need to set up the alternative of a jail, of a prison, of reform. We need to create the alternative incubators for them to be healed. We talked about mental health earlier in this conversation. Come on. Visiting that. That's right. We want to free them and we want to forgive them of the crimes that they committed. We live right. in a cancel culture today, a politically correct culture today, where you say one wrong word, someone's offended. Now you don't created multiple felonies and now you cannot be forgiven. Well, guess what? In the new Black Panther Party, we are looking to forgive people that have made the work to turn That's their right. lives around and show That's right. and prove. That's right. I said it. Now we have to sit down and talk as a community about why we feel the way we feel. And I'm talking about victims as well as the people that perpetrate yes. in whatever That's category. Right. If we're really talking about liberating our people, if we're really talking about healing our people, I Come get on. it. Not everyone Come can on. go. Not all skin folk are your kin folk. I get it. That's right. true. Right. But that does not mean that they are automatically your enemy. Come on. So they might not be welcome in your tribe, but there should be a tribe for them to heal in where right. they no longer cause harm to other people. Because that right. person may have been misunderstood some point in their life and they allowed something to grow and, and manifest. And now they're a demon, but you did not want to treat them like the angel they could have been for them to Come be on. the angel they should have been. And also, you don't want to hold yourself accountable in some Come situations on. where you could have been green to somebody that was moving to manipulate you. Come it's, on. It's, it's sometimes some situations are very overt and, and someone takes an advantage of you. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about situations where you did not pay attention to red flags. Therefore, you want to point the finger. But yes, you are a victim in many situations, but also understand that sometimes as a people, this is a taboo conversation. Sometimes as people, what we do is we ignore red flags intentionally. Right. And we allow ourselves to get hurt. And that's why that's we right. talk about we need a security or, or, or black people with slaves because we love people too much. Don't make that damn excuse no it's called balance okay learn how to Come read the room. learn how to read people's intentions learn that all skin folk are not your kin folk but that is not to me inherently move them into the position to where they can be healed of their things plant a seed right. and keep it moving you only a fool will plant a seed and sit there and try to watch the seed grow Come on. that they want to benefit from that Come is on. plant a seed give some help Get some help yourself. Keep it moving. And hopefully we can come back at the table together. So that's right. Eight, yes, we are demanding and we want freedom for all black people that are in the federal, state, county, city, prisons, and jails. And we have the attorneys and the resources to make that happen. But the the the, the need for said freedom comes with the cost of ensuring that there are right. measures to hear our people when we come back together. Because we're not just going to have you on the street when you did just do some wild stuff. Right. That's right. We're not going to talk about what Uncle Ray did last week. But he's coming to the cookout like everything's okay. We're not going to just brush over things under the rug anymore. It needs That's to right. Be addressed, and it needs to be addressed righteously. That's not determined by you. That's determined by the community that you agreed to join in. Thanks. Number nine. We want all black people, when brought to trial, see, this is an add on to number eight. Like I said, that's from right. To 10, from seven to 10, what is it? It's the new, it's no longer just about the purpose, it's about the execution. We want all black people, when brought to trial, 
to be tried in court by a jury of their peer group or people from their black communities as defined by the Constitution of the United States. That's long-winded, so I'm a short-winded for us. That basically says, and there's a reason why they put from their black communities. Oh, that's right. Why didn't you just say the black community, Elijah? Well, guess mm. what? The Huey P. Newton Gun Club and the urban sharpshooters are both shooting communities, firearm uh, specialists, but they may not agree to doing everything the same exact way. So we're going to respect them to their respective uh, 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 purposes and missions in their mission statements to do how they're supposed to do in their community. Therefore, we must judge them to a group of their community, of their That's right. from their group. The original Panthers and the new Black Panther Party don't do everything the same way. And that Thanks. is okay. If you are, are building your life around disrespecting someone else's way of doing things, you might want to reevaluate your purpose and become someone like Wendy Williams, whose job is to gossip, bicker, and beef and create discourse. Reevaluate your purpose in life and go be Perfect. someone that is on Twitter tweeting about other people's businesses. Because when you're on purpose, you're going to be right. in your respective black community. And when you're in your respective black community, then you can be tried right. and judged by people of your same community that understands your community guidelines and understands when someone intentionally went against the community guidelines. Because sometimes things are happening that are unintentional and we don't That's talk right. enough about having a right to passage to where mm. Now know what needs to be done moving forward so that this does not happen again. That's right. Who am I talking to tonight? Come on, man. We talk about it all the time. We talk about it all the time. We talk about it all the time. The church, the church, the church. Oh, the church don't know the youth no more. Because the church became very judgmental and they wasn't bringing in the youth and talking to them how they really need to be. And other organizations did the same. So let's not be That's right. That. That's let's, right. Let's make sure that everyone is represented in their black community and That's right. the, the, the Constitution of the United States, make sure our people are being tried adequately and fairly under our own guides. But if you ain't following the eight points of purpose before this, then you ain't. Right. Right. Each one is built on the last one. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And number 10, because we're getting ready to wrap it up. Uh, uh, we got, hold out with us, y'all. Hold out with us. Uh, we, we got 10 more minutes. I'm going to read number 10. And then for 10 minutes, I'm going to let my brother Nehemiah close us out with a powerful conviction. Number 10, we are going to talk about the most, not the most important, but the most uh, uh, um, full circle portion of the plans that were stated by the original Panthers. We're going to talk about the thing that ties everything into the purpose in which we just spent a little over That's right. an hour, 30 minutes talking about. We're going to address what's going to happen in 2022 going into 2023 and beyond come on why we even had you on this class to begin with number 10 is we want land bread housing education clothing justice and peace and as our major political objective a united nations supervised website to be held throughout the black colony in which only black colonial subjects will be allowed to participate for the purpose of determining the will of black people as their national destiny. I know that was long-winded, but you need to pull up the document and read it with your own eyes in case you didn't catch it. Because I'm going to say it to you in another way, in the 2022, 2023 version. All right. You remember when we had the gang summit very recently or the meeting of the minds very recently when we brought together our street tribes and different Panthers. That's right. Different groups and different organizations together. And by the leadership of attorney Malik Zulu Tabraz, he humbled himself and said, I forgive my brothers. I pray that they forgive right. me. And I pray that we forgive each other and we can right. sign this documentation saying that we're going to start moving forward with the intent of healing our community. Yeah. Right, I remember that That's one. what? That is a form or iteration or evolved notion of this number 10 plan. We no That's longer right. are asking other people for the land. We're no longer asking other people for the housing. We're no longer asking other people for the bread or the resources or the agriculture. We're no longer asking other people for the education. We're no longer asking other people for the clothing or the justice and the peace that's we're right therefore creating it we're creating it at our own 
uh, 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 power. We're creating it within our own people. That's right. We're creating it amongst ourselves with our own colonies and tribes with the understanding that we're a bigger nation. We're creating That's right. that plebiscite, no longer asking the United Nations because we know how corrupt the United Nations is. We're Come creating on. our own nation. And upon That's right. that, we have the most high at the center of what we do because the shirt that you wear only lets people know what organization you with, not Fair. your main purpose. We're going beyond on the shirt and the title and we're going to the human being and saying you deserve to be who you are before you're being a panther because you might not be a panther you might be a sister of the underground you right. may not be a panther but you might be an original panther you might see that as something right. that is different than the panther that I am and I'm not mad at you be who you are you might not be a panther you might be a former reformed gang member that has turned into one of the people that we need as a street tribe you might be an artist you might be someone that is down and in luck but coming up you might be someone that we need to talk to right now tonight and forever more right. because we know that you have a purpose building yourself up black person, that's right or person of color i should say or be forget the word black human being that deserves to know that your life is evolving and this purpose is for you i'm going to pass this microphone over to my brother nehemiah because because Nehemiah is going to alert you to why number 10 is so important and why number 10 means so much to our youth is because number 10 is really the caveat to kick off everything that we're currently doing. Go ahead. That's Mr. right. Close us out. Black Power, when we see what we're going through, when we see what we do and why the exploitation of our community is happening and why our people who are under the coercion, meaning, you know, mental pressure, uh, 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 exploiting their community. The trapping has happened because we don't have adequate, consistent land, bread, food, clothing. These people in these positions are people that are in positions. We that have been in the positions know that these are needs. The needs aren't being met in the community. And we believe that if we come together on unity, activate that self-determination, use that for our collective working responsibility, for our cooperative economics, and if we have the faith just for the creativity of what we're doing, we know that we can accomplish much. Land, bread, food, and, and clothing. When we look at that, when we go back to that plebiscite of making a nation of our own, it's just not a nation on paper. It's just not a people coming together and, you know, a, 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 a social media meetup, hangout, or just people binding on uh, some type of commonality. But it's still the fight for the commonality of land to build a nation on. Through the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, we was taught that we should go after and want land that is mentally rich but especially the land that our people bled over the most, that's mentally rich. When we look at the, uh, uh, when we look at the, what they call the great migration of black people leaving the South, going to other areas of that was built uh, to house them, other areas of metropolises of big cities and they left the countryside. We see that very soon the people that took over that land very soon, the people that are now benefit, uh, uh, that have now the capital in their hand is the former. The people that handle your clothing, your clothing comes from cotton. These come from fields. We need that. We need that ownership. And when we have this and it's consistent in, in, inside of our families, throughout our lineage, we won't go to someone and do, uh, 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 do a harmful thing to our community or we won't go anywhere and do something that's destructive to our society because we will be maintaining what we have to build it up and keep it up. With our own hands, we are judged by what we do with our own hands. Not with our own hands what we do for somebody else, but what we do for ourselves with our own hands. We will be judged for what our hands rock. Our hands need to build something. Our hands need to get something. Not bad, but make. Through our own self-determination, through our own God-given soul power that we were taught to do. When we look, we could go to the Bible of Deuteronomy. 
We're talking about the promises and the curses. Many of those, will, they say, well, I don't even believe in the Bible, so don't bring that to me. All right, well, let's look at it. A person who does not do for self, what will be done? A person that goes and gives to another but doesn't give to himself, what will he have? These 10 points right here, something that is each one is built upon the other to show and prove. Step by step, you are showing and proving nation building. Step by step, you are showing and proving a community. These things start on a local basis, and from your local basis, you can go to the top of the world, the Kwame Ture night, the QEP Newton night, the Elrich Cleveland night, the uh, 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 Kathleen Cleveland night, the Elaine Brown night, the Sider night, the Fanny Shakur. All of these people, we think about them because they, stare, they stood on truthfulness. They stood on righteousness. They, uh, they stood on uh, not just uh, crashing out and just speaking just to be speaking, but they spent... They spoke to the needs of the people and not just spoke to the needs of the people. They went ahead and gave to the needs of the people and showed the people not only just I gave you a fish, but they taught them how to fish. We must continue on that lineage in order for us not to crash out in this time of 22 going into 23. What can we do that can make us successful? What can we do? How can we find our purpose? What do we do to find our purpose? Is my purpose connected? What is my purpose connected to? Each and every one's purpose is still connected to the betterment of society. Each one's purpose is still connected to the betterment of society. Ask yourself with your purpose. Could you do it if no one else was in existence? Would it be worth what it is? How do we play? What part do we play in this train of time? What part do we play in this network? What is it? Why, why do we keep saying, why does uh, Chairman Malik keep saying you are organizer? When you look at this 10-point program, it's teaching you not just how to just organize people. It's teaching you how to organize you. The revolutionary, the revolutionary starts with self. Self-mastery is the revolutionary way. He has never stopped learning. The revolutionary, he, he don't stop learning. He never stops upgrading. He never lets obstacles just get in his way and then he just stops. So you mean to tell me going through these 10 points and seeing that with these 10 points, this is a great work and it's going to take great work ethic. We just stop. Look at yourself and say, I see where I am today. Is, this, is where you are today is just where you want to continue to be. Or do you want for progression? Do you want more? Do you want to get more of who you are and to help more people with what you're doing and also have a team and have people that help you just as you help them? After all, you are the micro to the macro. So if you see yourself and you see, I want to be more, I want to do more, I want for progression, well, then look at yourself and look at everybody else that's in your peer group. Look at what they have. Look at what you have. Not just on some mundane level. I'm talking about what does your peer group, your race, what do we have? What can we move towards so everyone can benefit on our own? To so every sheep, every sheep is supposed to have their fold. You're saying that my fold is supposed to be an auxiliary of somebody else's fold, and they don't even care for the welfare of my community. We're not looking for someone to care for our community. We're not looking for someone just to give us. We're looking for us to go out and get it. We all should be uh, uh, we all should be those who are going to get it. In the streets, that's the main thing that you hear. Go get it. Go get it. A go get a mentality. Because in, in the streets, that go get a mentality, you're told in the streets, you know, there's no mystery God. In the streets, you know, you got to go out and get it. But this go out and get it mentality must not be on the mundane level of just self. When we say do for self, when you see your when you see your brother, when you see your sister, that's self too. You see yourself in the next man and the next uh, woman. Your twin half, but the next, your brother, that's just your other self. We all should be continuing not just to build for myself individually, but myself as a community. It's a you and I in that community. We must find that commonality and do what we must for the benefit of our babies, our families, our community, our brothers and our sisters. 
You say, well, he was talking about land, food, and housing. Stop. Like, what are you talking about? I'm saying that overall, where we are today, the crumbling of society, we're not just a war on the horizon, but in the midst of a war. Not just in the midst of a war, but in the midst of a war, war where you see other world factions are competing and other uh, world factions are breaking away from their former colonial masters. You must ask yourself, where do you fit into this global scheme of things? You yourself, now down, try to, go to rise to the top, be the cream of the crop as you are. That comes with self-mastery. That comes with holding yourself accountable. That comes with logistics and looking at the checks and the balances. We must hold ourselves accountable, not just each other. We must hold ourselves accountable first for how we're going to level up, for how we're going to get to this objective and how we're going to hold the line. Remember that the fight is just not for freedom. And I knew Black Panther Manuel, it says that uh, land, uh, that land, land is freedom. You can't have these things without, you can't achieve your destiny. You can't achieve nationhood. You can't have freedom without land. And we must work for it to gain this dominance. Black power. Black power, black power, brother Nehemiah, uh, brother Nehemiah X. As we get ready to conclude, I do have a couple announcements and I will read these 10 points one more time for three times the charm, three times the alarm. We got to yes. get to you one last time and then I'm going to read off the announcements that we have coming up. So you can't say you was out of the loop. You better go ahead and get the scoop. Uh, you said self a lot of times and it brought up to me a, 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 a um, what's it called, uh, not an analogy, but uh, an acronym for the word self so that we can stop looking at the word yes. self, selfish. Self means to successfully or be successfully evolving love. I said successfully evolving love first because you must evolve love. You must evolve the love that you have for yourself and others so that you know what love means to you and your community. Self should be successfully evolving love first. And one of the ways we wanted to teach mm. that tonight, how to be a, and do for self, how to successfully evolve love first putting love first before anything else and evolving that to something bigger was evolving upon the 10 point plans from our yes. original Panthers. There's a reason why we had to read from that 1967 document because that 1967 document full circle moment was brought forth by two young soldiers yes. by the name of Bobby Seal and Huey Newton. These were young right. guys. These were young guys at the time. They were the youth. They That's right. They was going to do something about it. They were all of 20 up to 25. And we know what that meant. They had that vibrant heartbeat. And they also understood how to move a community of people of many ages. So when we're doing for self, the 10-point plan embodies that. And we're going to evolve it into the future. But I'm going to read the 10-point plan and what it originally was one more time. Because you should absorb a lot of what you know for it to be in the near future to you. Number one, we want freedom. We want power to determine destiny of our black community. Number two, we want full employment for our people. We want, and, uh, and number three, we want an end to the robbery by the white man of our black community. Number four, we want decent housing fit for shelter of human beings. Number Number five, we want education for our people that exposes the true nature of the decadent American society. We want education that teaches our true history and our role in the present day society. Number six, we want all black men, women, and other to be exempt from military service. Number seven, we want an immediate end to police brutality and murder of black people and murder, not from murder, but and murder and of black people. Number that's eight, right. 
We want freedom for freedom. all black men, women, and others held in federal, state, state county, and county, city prisons and jails. We want them to be liberated of their incarceration. Number nine, we want all black people when brought to trial to be tried in court by a jury of their peer group or people from their black communities as defined by the Constitution of the United States of America. And number 10, we want land, bread, housing, education, clothing, justice, and peace, and as our major political objective, a United Nations supervised plebiscite to be held throughout the Black colony in which only Black colonial subjects will be allowed yes. to participate for the purpose of determining the will of Black people as to their national destiny. So in That's order right. to do for self, we must embody these 10 points for yes. self to be successfully evolving love uh, first. first. The love of my people, therefore the love of self, therefore we will execute in 2022, yes. going into 2023, this exact same 10 point plan. But instead of asking that guy up there, we're gonna ask our people in the same room to execute it with each other and one yes. of those executions will be coming up starting on rifle and pistol dry firing coming on on the 6th of october that's this thursday 6th of october there will be a rifle and pistol dry don't be having no ammo all right it will be a dry fire training <laughs> and we have the number the number is 850 Three two two eight seven two five. I'm gonna say it one more time. The eight five zero three two two eight seven two five is where you can check in to do this Thursday's rifle and pistol dry fire practice. You want to know what time it is? Check in on that number. You want to know what type of firearm you need? Check in on that uh, uh, number. If you don't even got a firearm yet, check in on that number. Make it routine to be a part of the community that you agree to be a part of. Next, I also want to talk about what we have on our website. I want you to understand that we are not just talking. This is being executed. And we had a brother by the name of Dr. Attorney Malik General. Zulu Shabazz name goes on and rings bells for a reason. This brother went ahead and purchased uniforms on behalf of our people. He, uh, he said, I think he said 20, uh, I was about to put a big number up there, 200 uh, 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 uniforms of our people. Don't get me stuttering because I ain't lying, I'm frying. I'm telling you that this brother has put his dollar down on behalf of you, black man, black woman, black other, you human being, to be a part of something grand that is going into the future and it's not grand because we're talking it's grand because we're intentionally focusing on self successfully evolving love for others or love first however you want to put it check out that website you can take a glimpse of the website if you think it needs to be improved say that then to let us know if you think it needs to be improved. That's okay. We are open to that conversation. How can it grow? Because we are starting it and we're doing it and we're open to the support because we want to make sure that our community can sustain itself, that number 10 plan. So you want to go to newbpp.org, newbpp.org org to support the system, support the website. And if you think that you want to see something better out of it, put in a request. If you want more, support what's there now and then help make more happen. We're not here to be critical or critique. We're here to help self evolve. Okay. So you heard it here first. You did not hear it here last. You better go out and spread this same message to your people. Do not be selfish with the information. Do not just share it amongst yourselves that's already conscious enough about understanding and overstanding and understanding what we talked about tonight. Don't be selfish. This is the age of application. So apply the information you got tonight and share it amongst others. Also share your perspective. Open up that conversation. We need that conversation in order for us to move uh, 
uh, uh, forward because we cannot do it without you. I am a vessel. Nehemiah is a vessel. This is just a ship for the vessel to exist on. So we want to build a relationship with you. Holla at me. Talk to Nehemiah. Talk to attorney. If you call yourself an elder, if you call yourself someone that is a Baba, if you call yourself someone that came before me and you feel a way about what I said tonight, let's have a respectful conversation about it. And it has to be out of love for us to evolve because we're dismantling these ideas that we cannot grow together. My mentor, I take my hat off to attorney Malik Shabazz for giving us the spotlight because that brother has held the spotlight for many years in an honorable way. I don't give a cap what anyone says. This brother has been putting in the work for years and he acknowledges the youth. Therefore, he knows that the youth is coming in the future. So he's giving us a voice today. I take my hat off to that. Y'all, y'all shocked and surprised. He didn't say a lick of word on here. He been over here listening though, because he knows that we are the future. So therefore you get on board and talk to your child. You get on board and you talk to your nieces and nephews. You get involved with your public school. You get involved. I used to teach grades one through five. So I can say this to the parents. You don't just come home, work tired and not engage with your children. Cause guess what? That is unhealthy. So all the stuff that we talked about, formulate a small curriculum or a way to present it to how they will learn it in a proper way. Don't just throw it at us, uh, throw it on them like, like we're throwing it on you because we believe you to be competent and ready to take it that way. Put it to how they will best acknowledge it and receive it and allow their sponges to absorb it and grow. It don't all gotta be at once, but just know that we're putting the system in place for that we have the trade schools and the education for our people to sustain ourselves in the future. Um, Nehemiah, hey, it's an honor serving with you, brother, and serving beside you. It's an honor. I love where this is going. I'm honored. I believe the most high is honored at what we have done yes. today. Um, I want us to go ahead and close out with a prayer. Real quick, uh, go ahead and say your uh, last remarks, my brother, so we can bow out and then I'll pray us out. And then I want everybody to make sure they have a good night. Hold on real quick, y'all. Let him say his last bit. We're going to pray out and then we're going to roll out. All right. We're we wrapping up, y'all. Last bit is just hold the line. You know, let's, let's remember that each and every one of us is a link in this chain. And as is always said, that we are as strong as our, as our weakest link. So as we improve ourselves, we improve ourselves to come together so that we all can show our improvement and that we also can rear each other and aiding each other. That's how you age your community so that we all can be of help to the greater good of what not only is said to us, but everything that will come when we accomplish that what was instructed us to do. So just hold the line, people, please hold the line. Black power. Black power. Ashe. And may you pray to the most high uh, God that you see fit that is in your life that speaks to you the most. May we bow our heads and close our eyes. And if you do not want to bow your head and close your eyes, do what sees fit to you. We are grateful, almighty creator, for giving us the ability to come together. We're grateful, almighty creator, for giving us a platform to stand on. We know that we do not do this out of selfish love or, or, or selfish uh, 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 envy, jealousy, or whatever that is not of you. We do this out of the love of you and all that you are to us. May we know that we are growing with intent to bring our people and the, the, the children of God, as they say, together in a healthy, loving environment that will be conducive to the people that have been disenfranchised for a long time. May our purpose be out of pure uh, 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 enjoyment of your service and vice versa, that we can serve you in a proper way. May people reach these links that we have created, these websites we've created, and apply not just because they feel emotional inclined to apply, but apply because they know this might be right for them. And if it's not right for them, may they have the respect to pass it on to someone that might be better suited. May our people know that these resources are for them to receive and to enjoy and also embrace so that we can too be embraced and that we can grow as a people together. May whoever may not be at home right now, maybe somewhere else that that, that, that been struggling or going through something and this was the break that they needed, may they receive what they 
they need to receive from you, Almighty Most High. We appreciate you for who you are and all that you are to us. We appreciate our, uh, our elder. We appreciate our mentor, uh, Attorney Malik Julius Shabazz, for hosting this tonight. And I'm not just saying his name because I know to say his name as, a, as an honorable man, but I'm saying his name because he opened the door for us to be able to do this because your light shines in him. May he be protected. May our other leaders that are also taking up the mantle whose names go far out into the distance that everyone hears it. May they be protected. May we all be protected as we move in purpose and on purpose. May your will be done. We appreciate you for who you are and may we live to see another day if you see fit. In the uh, name of the Most High, Elohim, Yahweh, Yeshua, and that's who I pray to you now. Pray to who you pray, pray to. May we have peace on this earth and peace within ourselves and we move and say Black power, uh, Black unity, and Black love. A uh, Black power, a uh, Black unity, and Black love. Amen and Ashe, Ashe, Asheo. Black power, brother. Black power. All right, y'all. Uh, like I said, we're getting off. I don't. I don't know how to not make this part awkward because <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> y'all don't got to leave, but we got to get up out of here. We're going to talk to y'all soon. Please check in with that uh, class that we have coming up on October 6th. I believe yes. it might be at 9 p.m., but don't quote me. Go to that number where you can fill out the application as well as sign up for that dry fire rifle and pistol training so you can get that uh, work in, all right? And be ready and stay tuned for the next class that we have next week. We're going to stay vigilant and on our post. Much love to y'all. Y'all stay peace. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay dangerous, all right? Black power. Black power.